if you find that you are completely uncensored and you never think about other people's feelings, but you're happy with, even if you don't have a lot of them, you're happy with your friendships, you don't mind the reactions you're getting, you like your life, do your thing. If you find that you would like more friends or you'd mm -hmm. like to make better first impressions or you'd like to have your dating relationships go better, I would assess what, what emotions are you creating yeah. in other people that you don't like, right? So other people don't find me attractive and go, okay, well, what am I doing that might create that or might emphasize that or, mm -hmm. or strengthen that? I make bad first impressions on friends and people don't want to see me a second time. Okay, well, if you don't like that, then ask yourself what behavior is making them feel that way. But if you don't mind mm -hmm. how, your results, then yeah, do your thing. And, and interestingly enough, if you're charting your results and, and they're rising, they actually rise to a point by really focusing in a degree on being people pleasing. That's what five, six, seven, eight year olds do. They learn how to cultivate a personality that pleases people around them. Yeah. But in order to increase that upward trajectory of positive connection, you have to do somewhat opposite behaviors, which is, is pull back on the people pleasing sure. at some point. Only if you want different results though. Let's say you went, let's yeah. say you read How to Win Friends and Influence People. You join Charisma University. You're not doing any emotional mastery, mm -hmm. ayahuasca, meditation. You're just like, I don't focus on the self. And you get to where you just charted, right? Yeah. And you're saying, well, you can get somewhere else. I'm not even going to say, I don't yeah, want to make yeah, a yeah. judgment, but you, there's more growth to be had somewhere. Okay. But if you like where you're at, yeah, don't bother. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I think it's, it's really, it's just, are you happy with where you are? You know, you got into a lot of this different emotional mastery growth because you went through a breakup and you were unhappy mm -hmm. with your internal emotions. Mm -hmm. That's a great time to try to change behavior, you know what I mean? Or change mindsets. So yeah, I don't think everyone, ha you don't have to just try to grow forever, sure. in my opinion. Sure. Sure. Uh, I totally agree. And, and oftentimes when people ask me, should I read this? Should I do this? Um, 20 years old should you know and and i see all of my friends are focused on achievement should i just skip that period and go to what you're talking about i'm like no yeah. <laughs> be 20 to achieve do all of those things yeah. there's it's it's not improper for people to be focused on opposite things at different points yeah. in their life depending or, on how the results are affecting them subjectively or if someone was like oh should i read the four hour work week my question would be do you like your job mm -hmm. The answer is no then you should read it if the answer is yeah i love my job i love going to work every day no don't bother yeah yeah, yeah. you know it really does come down to are you happy with your experience mm -hmm. and even just pulling back it, when you watch if you watch the video on respect recognize that i don't think that respect of other people is the end all be all uh, i think this is this video is an effective tool towards an end which uh may or may not be appropriate for you at this point in your life and sure. it's interesting a lot of the charisma on command videos that i'm making today are perfect for someone at one stage and and not for someone at another yeah, yeah. and so it's it's just it's interesting to be reading one book that is is anti what i just said and then going okay how does this synthesize with yeah. what i did 12 hours ago well i think it's worth yeah i think it's worth noting not everyone has the same goals or wants to get the same place we have an employee that we've tried to promote Mm -hmm. and she just wants nothing to do with it. Yeah. She really, she keeps turning it down. And so someone, like we could make a video on how to get a promotion. Yeah. And someone could send it to her and say, oh, you should watch this. Yeah. But if you don't want a promotion because you're not comfortable managing people and you love your job as it is, then you shouldn't try to get a promotion. And mm -hmm. I think that that analogy can work in charisma and everything else as well. Yep. You know? Yeah, yeah. Goal, your goal determines the value of any given behavior exactly so to say that this is good or bad is completely silly outside of the reference point of the goal yeah exactly yeah. so if you should stop people pleasing or not if you if you are a dick like i was <laughs> yeah, yeah. and people don't like you for it you should focus more on other people's emotions and if you find that people think you're a people pleaser or you get called a nice guy and you get or a nice girl and you or get walked even all just over the internal because this is still focusing externally even just the internal sense sure. of worrying about what yeah people if you're tired if you feel anxious because yeah. you're constantly thinking about other people and then you should ratchet it back yeah, yeah. so goals are important people <laughs> yeah, yeah you need, it's a step step one i think at some point we talk about define your north star it's funny whenever people call in for questions or advice, they ask me, you know, we had um, Mauricio who called in and said, what should I do about my family? They're, they're a part of this religion that is very cult-like. Mm -hmm. And the answer is always, what's your goal? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, do, do you want to make sure your family's in your life at any cost? Well, you're going to get one piece of advice. Yeah, yeah. Is the answer to flourish uninhibited? Well, then you're going to get a completely different piece of advice. Yeah, we had another call in where the guy had a business, a drone business that videotaped golf courses. Yeah. And he said, how do I grow this business? 
And the question is, is your goal to grow this business or is your goal to have a successful business? Because yeah, yeah. what we never talked about is, does this give value to golf courses? I have no idea. Yeah. But if it doesn't, just start a new business and forget the fact that you have a sunk cost of a drone. Yeah. Because your goal is just to have a business that you like. It's mm. not to have this business necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is one of the most important questions that it, within the, the business of Charisma on Command that I can ask as somebody who's like strategizing what we do, but also for people in their lives what is my goal yeah. Yeah, because people get they get so wrapped up and if they're going to get the promotion yeah. next cycle and it's like have you stopped to think that you hate your boss yeah. and that you'd be working more closely with him if you got this for like maybe the goal should be to be happy in which case you drop the promotion completely and move in a yeah to a new industry and i something. say this with no judgment i yeah. lost i lost it this year at some point yeah, yeah i got so excited by how fast we were growing that i started putting my eye on how do we keep growing as yeah. quickly as we are and at one point you pulled up and you were like, hey, is your goal to run the biggest business possible or is your goal to be happy? Because I noticed that you're doing a lot of work you don't like mm -hmm. to pursue a goal. And I was. I had lost my North Star. Yeah. You know, so it's important to pull up and go, why am I doing this? And is this really my goal? My goal is to be happy. Mm -hmm. So why am I doing things that don't make me happy to pursue the goal of business growth? Yeah. That's not my goal. Yeah. So I think it's I, I say that just to say it's not that other people do that because they're dumb. Like I do it too. Everyone does it. Yeah, it's important. And that's one of the reasons that I, one of the things you know that I do is I go to these foot spas and I get these mm -hmm. hour long, yeah. <laughs> hour long like feet rubs. If you've ever been in one of these, they're often funny because they have, I don't, maybe it's true. Reflexology. It's got all the different organs of your body on the sole of your foot and you like push one part. It's like liver. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I do that for an hour. I don't notice any of that, but those are the moments where I create enough space to go, I've spent all day trying to achieve X and then I realize X is not what I really want. <laughs> yeah. You know what I did too at one point that I see a lot of people do? We don't have to harp on this because mm -hmm. we talk about relationships a lot. But I see a lot of people who they start to become obsessed with the idea of making their relationship work. Yeah. And work means just last. Just continue. Quality is almost a secondary thing. And I think their goal is to be happy or to find a relationship. Not even to find a relationship. To be happy is their goal. And they get focused on trying to make a relationship work, even though it's made them unhappy for the last six months and it continues to make them happy, unhappy day mm -hmm. to day. That's when I see people commonly lose their North Star. And these aren't married people. These are people who have been in a relationship for nine months. Yeah. And the last three months haven't been happy. And it's like, yeah, you should just break up. You only had six good months. You've had three bad ones, unless there's an insane reason why. But it's very easy to get caught up in that goal of like making the relationship just continue yeah. instead of going well, my goal is to be happy and I would like to date someone who makes me happy. I've seen myself and a lot of other people make that mistake. Totally, totally. That's why I love philosophy because it asks the question underneath the question, you know, and even it would question why is my goal to be happy? Why, you know, yeah. like all of that is to me where the real, the merit and value and of, of any given subject is. Yeah. But anything... Hope that you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to see more like this and have us do more podcasts, we are 100% funded by our generous patrons. And if you'd like to contribute, there's a link in the description and we'll have one pop up on the screen right here so that we can do more podcasts where we have fun conversations and hopefully some deep ones like this. Either way, hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.